Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have the entire carrier easter egg for you guys start to finish. This thing was a lot of fun to solve, and uh, unfortunately, I almost got first last night. I was I was playing, I was playing, I got the second to last step, and then could not figure out what to do before I went down, and I was just so tired from 40 hours of playing without going to sleep, I unfortunately did not get first on this. Hey, two out of three still ain't bad, though, and I have to give credit to Mr. Champ Bailey's and Starburst. Both of their channels will be in the description down below. Thank you to them for solving this and uh, putting out a tutorial, and credit to them for, uh, for solving this this first and congrats to those guys on the world first but anyway let's go ahead and get started here and i'm going to be taking you through every single step and showing you how to do this thing so here we go step one is what you need to do first this is uh, the first thing you need to do before you can do any of these other steps you need to get teleportation grenades shoot it inside of chompy's room and turn on the power you'll be immediately teleported back out and from there you are good to go you can start with the rest of the easter egg which is going to taking us to the armory first so you need to go to the armory and you need to have guns that you get out of the box and give them to this hand here as you can see the hand is going to start giving you a whole bunch of different stuff and you need to do something with each of these in particular the first one he's going to give you is a bottle he will just drop a bottle on the ground right next to where the hand is and uh, that you just leave there there's nothing to do with that just yet that will be coming later on in this easter egg the first thing after that he gives you is a spool that will actually go in your inventory or this little reel here and you're going to take this reel and go build it on the on the fishing pole on the side of the gun deck that is the first thing you need to build on there and he will be giving you two more things the second of which is a little reel of wire you take the reel of wire you take it to this location as well and uh, build that on there and then the last thing he gives you will be a hook and you take the hook build it on there and you will have a completed fish fishing pull here. Now this will say press X or hold X to fish for $100. You just leave this be. We're not going to be doing anything with this yet. Now we're going to be moving on to the grenade disposal machine. So this next step is very, very confusing if you don't know what to do, but I'm going to be explaining it in this video and hopefully it'll be very, very easy for you. You need to get teleportation grenades and contact grenades for this one. Uh, those are the only two nades you ever have in your inventory. And if you take a look on the right hand side, we're going to be making those three red lights turn into green lights. I'm going to be explaining how you do this and the combinations and kind of the, uh, the pattern that you need to do to do this. So let's go ahead and get into that. So let's go ahead and stop this here so I can explain exactly how this works. It's very, very easy to do once you know what to do. Basically, the first step is to shoot a teleportation grenade inside of this thing, and that will move the dispenser here. This is the dispenser. It's it's very, very distinct. You need to know what this dispenser is and what kind of grenade it's dispensing. You need to move this dispenser from the middle over to the left-hand side. It'll be in the middle by default, but whenever you activate the Easter egg, whenever you activate the first step, it will basically have this Easter egg solving on either side of it, and you need to, uh, you need to go ahead and activate that. It will move over to the left-hand side, and then it will be able to be solved by uh, by using your contact grenades. So the again, the only two types of nades you need are the teleportation grenades. You never use the teleportation unless the unless the dispenser is not in the Easter egg side of it and it's in the normal side of it. You use the dispenser uh, or the teleportation aid to move that, and then you use contact grenades for the rest of the time. That's the only thing you're shooting inside the grenade, dis grenade disposal. A lot of people got confused with that. The only thing you shoot inside of the grenade disposal is the contact grenades, and everything else is done by the disposal machine itself this part right here once again this is the disposer part this will cycle between four different types of grenades and the type whatever type it's showing when you shoot the contact grenade inside of the grenade disposal machine that is the kind that will be dispensed out and that is what the pattern is all about it's very very easy to do so if there's a distraction drone showing on this little dispenser whenever you shoot your contact grenade in it will dispense it it will dispense a uh, distraction drone if there's a regular grenade showing it will dispense a normal grenade and you just need to memorize the pattern Pattern to do this. So uh, basically there's four different types of grenades. There's the frag grenade, there's the distraction drone. The distraction drone looks uh, looks obviously like the distraction drone. It'll be like spinning whenever you shoot it out, and uh, it, it's kind of the one that looks like a little plus. There's the explosive drones, which is kind of like a black line with a little tiny blue light on top. It will definitely you'll be able to tell which one it is. It's the one that looks like a black line with blue light on top. And then last but not least, we have the nanostorms, which are the completely blue ones, like kind of the blue orb ones that are pretty darn big. Those are the four different types that will be cycling through on the dispenser itself. Now. Basically, all you need to do for the step is go in the description. I'm going to have all these written out. I'm going to read them off real quick, but they're going to be all in the description. You shoot a contact grenade in and dispense these grenades in this order to solve each one of these. I'm going to show you what it looks like right here when you solve the third one. Once you solve the third one, this is what it looks like. This is this is how it, how it looks whenever you solve one of them. It will turn the light green, and at the very end, we'll get our first of the four keypads. But uh, basically, this is the order. For, to light up the first light, you do a distraction drone, and then you dispense a normal grenade. For the second one, you dispense an explosive grenade, you dispense a uh, distraction grenade, then another explosive, then a normal grenade. And for the last one, you do explosive, 
nano explosive distraction explosive than a normal nade. If you just follow those steps, I'm gonna have them all in the description down below. If you dispense them in that in that order, then you'll be good to go, and it will solve each one of the lights just if you if you dis uh, dispense them in the right time. Again, it's gonna get very very difficult to uh, to do this all in one round because of the grenade disposal like actual place you can shoot it in, and you have to shoot it in at the right time when the right grenade is showing. It gets very very difficult to do this all in one round, so I recommend doing this over multiple rounds. But once you solve all three, it will dispense a little keypad out. You can take this keypad, take it over to the vault door, which we, we will be giving every single one of these keypads to, and that will complete step one. Uh, completely that that's really like step three or four but if you do this you'll complete step one completely you'll be all the way good to go and we're about a third of the way through this easter egg now for this next step what we're going to be doing is getting the second keypad this one is probably the most fun and the easiest one but you're going to go ahead and go back to this arm and you're going to hold x on the kind of little drunk bottle that they give you here you're going to make way over to this wall and you will activate this button which gives you a two minute timer now this timer will spawn in all of these red and yellow lines on the ground you can only exo jump and exo slide whenever you're in this drunk mode your screen will go side to side it's pretty darn hard to move around but as you can see you will need to make your way all the way through this not touching any of the wires if you just crouch in this area you should be good you don't have to lay down or anything like that but you'll be making your way to the hangar and there's going to be a keypad on the ground at the very very end i'm going to speed up this part a little bit because you just need to make your way around kind of the fo follow the path i do and then whenever there's the hangar kind of a jump off you need to make sure you go that way and on the ground right next to the teleporter i actually was just holding x on the teleporter and managed to grab it but the keypad itself is actually on the ground right in front of the teleporter very very easy to pick up and this step is very very easy to do once you have this take it back over to the giant vault door and uh and go ahead and activate that that will give you your second out of four keypads we are moving right along we are almost done with this easter egg let's get on to the next step now here we go we're nearing the end basically every single time you kill a teleporting zombie from that point forward after you insert the second keypad you will get this little piece that you see in my inventory that you need to insert into this teleporter that is in the bio lab now every single time you insert a piece it will basically light up get a little bit brighter get a little bit louder and it will stop now it will take around 20 pieces of, uh, of these teleportation kind of uh, kind of zombie things. As you can see, I just killed one and just picked up another little piece here. You're gonna go ahead and uh, just stay alive. It's gonna be it's gonna be probably one of the most stressful parts aside from the end. You're gonna go over here, insert it every single time you get a brand new piece. And as you can see, once you insert enough, it'll take around 20 or so. It will open up the teleporter. Now you do not teleport yet. You need to make your way back over to where you can find the fishing pole, and you're gonna go ahead and fish for a piece of equipment, which is the shovel. Now you're gonna need a shovel because you are going to an island and you're gonna to try to kind of uh, hunt and find some buried treasure on the ground and you're gonna need a shovel to do that. So just keep on fishing. You might get a fish in your inventory or something like that, but just go ahead and ignore that. Sw swap it out for the shovel. You'll need the fish a little bit later on, but uh, obviously once you, once you get the shovel, make your way back over to the teleporter and then you're gonna start digging. Once you teleport through, you'll have a limited amount of time. It's a little bit hard to find, but you're just gonna keep on holding X and digging all over the island. Eventually you will hit a case and inside of this case is one of these uh, coded iPads or whatever they are pick up that iPad, take it back over, insert it into the thing, and you are done with this third out of four steps. Very, very easy to do, but just a little bit stressful. Make sure you're staying safe whenever you're collecting the parts. That is the hardest part. And uh, you, it, may take, it may take you a few tries to find the find the actual piece of iPad down there. But uh, again, the teleporter will, will recharge. And then once it is once you've found the piece, you don't ever need to go back here again. And it actually won't let you go back there again. So no worries on that. Make sure you get all the things you needed. Insert the iPad. And we are moving on to step number four. So for the final stretch of the last couple of steps, what you need to do is go over to Captain DJ's locker and hold X on it. You'll get a little audio quote saying you need an eyeball. Now, once you get this quote, uh, in the next round, the round after that, it kind of depends on, on, on how many rounds it takes to spawn in. But after a little bit, you will be able to run around and find these two different treasure drones flying next to each other. Now, you need to destroy the one in the rear. It was in the rear for me, but whichever one does not have a power-up will have this little tool that you actually pick up in your inventory. And you use this to go over and unlock this box. It will be able to be used on the box and it will give you the option to activate the cage now this is the hard part this is what you need to be very very careful with because you need to kill zombies on top of the moon pool area which more specifically you need to kill them on top of the little grates that have holes in them now the more you kill there the more uh the more zombies that die here it will spawn in a shark that swims down below now you need to keep on looking i'm going to show you guys in just a second it's going to go right by my screen 
or uh, rather Mr. Dog JD screen because uh, he was nice enough to send me this gameplay. But right in front of the screen, you will be able to see the shark that is that is swimming underneath. Now, whenever you see the shark that is swimming underneath, you can see it right there. You need to run over and activate the cage from this little lever up here. It will just slowly, slowly come down. So make sure you don't go down. He actually almost went down here. But as you can see, the cage will go into the moon pool and you need to go ahead and jump up on top of it. And that will lower you down into the water. And at this point, you do need to have the fish. So make sure you grab the fish before you do this step. Make sure you grab the fish fish from the swimming pool or the the, uh, the fishing rod grab the fish from the fishing rod go down into the pool that will attract the shark the shark will bite the side of your cage and you hold x on his mouth and you will be able to grab an eyeball out of his mouth now whenever you have this eyeball you need to go ahead and run back to the locker go ahead and unlock the locker and that will have the ipad in it grab the ipad and you are almost almost done with this easter egg run back go ahead and throw that inside of the uh inside of the vault that will just activate the last step and then you need to go ahead and uh cleanse yourself obviously if you get infected like he did here but you need to go back to the to the armory and you need to give the weapon disposal a few more weapons to actually give you this c4 so as you can see this is what it looks like whenever he gives you the c4 you get the c4 and then you are basically completely done just run back all the way over to the door and then hold x on the door and that will end the uh, that will end the easter egg in the cutscene and or uh, trigger the cutscene rather and i'm gonna have that cutscene play for you guys right about now that did it this ship's about to become one big tax write-off. <laughs> Who pays taxes? Hey, no one gives a fuck, okay? We got two minutes before we're all guzzling seawater. Move! There! <laughs> Lilith, what are you doing? Oz? Are you kidding me? Oz is dead. That asshole shot him. It's just another stupid zombie. Let's just go already. Come on, people. We don't have time for this. Shit. So there it is, everybody. Oz as a zombie. Huge, huge cliffhanger. Cannot wait for the next map. I really, really hope we get it soon. And uh, DLC 4, bring it on. We're going to be going for the Easter egg again on that one. And I appreciate all of your support on this one. All I ask is that you leave a like in return. Let me know in the comment section down below how what, just what you thought of this Easter egg. I actually really, really liked it. It just took us to different places, teleported us to a freaking island. We had a shark attack. I don't know what else you could want from a DLC Easter egg like this. And uh, yeah, that is going to about wrap it up. Hope everyone has enjoyed. Once again, hit that like button if you have. And I'll see you all in the next video.